shout out to to my big homies, man. My li big little homies. Uh, you hear D Monkey and Shadow King. They keep me up to date with all the swanky, up to date, cool stuff that's going on in gaming. It's my little homies right there, man. Shout out to the cool nerds, period, man. It will keep me updated. You know, it, it's just. It just pains me to to be an original Sony fan and to see Sony fans getting excited for games that we just shouldn't be getting excited for. It really does. It hurts my spirit, hurts my soul. It just it just looks desperate. It looks sick. It looks you know what these motherfuckers told me the other day? It's OB70. You're a Xbox fanboy because you do not like a Gears of War clone. I don't think none of you got that shit. Let me say it one more time. Zobi70, you're an Xbox fanboy because you do not like a Gears of War clone. You know what I'm saying? It just it just is you you're automatically labeled an Xbox fanboy because you you don't like something that's coming on the PlayStation console. That doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, Zobi, you don't like the shooter? You obviously an Xbox fanboy. It is, you know, like, it's just flipping desperate, yo. It's sad and pathetic. And it makes my my, ser my soul literally just deteriorates from my body. Now, today, Sony, I wish you could keep these games a secret until E3. I understand Xbox is dropping those jewels. They're dropping some gems, aren't they? They just showed the Quantum Break uh, gameplay yesterday. Looks like a true next gen experience compared to when everybody thought Watch Dogs was going to be this true next gen experience. And I looked at it the first time I looked at it, I said, This looks like a tech demo, doesn't even look ready. It looks like bull crap. It looks like it's going to have a masses and masses of fanboys just clamoring to the game. Was I wrong? Anyway, listen. Uh, Project Beasts, Demon Souls Two, Dark Souls Three. <laughs> I heard it might be another game, uh, some Dark Tower or something. I don't know. It might be a sequel to that because it was on the PlayStation back in the day. It's made from soft from software, but these are the games, ladies and gentlemen that you get excited for. No, 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 not, not Drive Club, no. No, we don't get excited for Drive Club, never, in your entire life. Like I said before in my previous video, if these games were on the Xbox console, they wouldn't be relevant. They just wouldn't be. Set in proof, indie games were big on the Xbox 360 last gen. Why the fuck is it big now? Like I said, these games just wouldn't pass on a, on a, on a, on a, on a last gen experience. I always say the game, when you're writing petitions to get games like Titanfall, when you're writing petitions to get games like Quantum Break, when you're crying to these developers asking for the game on each on the PlayStation platform, then those are games. Those are must-have games. But ain't nobody give a fuck about Drive Club. Nobody gives a flip about the order 1886. Motherfuckers told me I was an Xbox family because I don't like a Gears of War clone. Can you can you believe that? Does that make any sense to you? That doesn't make no sense. That doesn't make none of this sense. The game. That game is a piece of trash. I have never in my life seen such a piece of trash in my whole life. And it is being loved. Why? I remember, shout out to the big homie, Fat Gamer. I know I'm ranting and I need to get to the point of the video, but I'm pissed. 
the big homie Fat Gamer said uh, for E3 uh, flipping my, let Sony go first I, I agree with the homie on everything that he's ever said but I disagree with him on this the big homie was like let, let Sony go first so they can mess up I said no 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 Sony going first, last, in the middle, three weeks from now, two years from now, doesn't matter. With the prevalent, uh, uh, the, the internet being controlled by virgins, undercover homos, <laughs> and Sony fanboys, there's no way you're going to win, yo. There's no way Sony's going to lose. If Sony was to go first, they would have dropped that DRM shit on us and it would have stayed. You see what I'm saying? Sony was going to E3 dropping that DRM on us. But Microsoft went first. They showed off the DRM. Sony, fam Sony came on next. They took away the DRM and it was gone for life. We would The DRM would have stayed. By all means, I don't have a problem with DRM. I believe that Sony needs their money. And I think they were going into next gen thinking we need this DRM, and they were. I remember people. I remember when DRM they were making. There were rumors coming out saying Sony was coming in with DRM, and it was undercover Sony fanboys defending it, like Shokio. He came out talking about yeah, Sony needs that DRM because they're not selling. Their games do not sell, and that's a fact. But like I said, you know, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just ranting. But anywho, looking at this gameplay footage, I, I tell you, let's hope that it's Demon Souls 2. The, the point of the video is I'm mad that we're overhyping meteorocracy, garbage, and bullshit. And this is the game that needs to be overhyped like mother sucker, yo. There's people excited for it, yes. But you got to understand, there's a mass hating around this uh, the Demon Souls, the Souls project. It's too hard for, for, for a lot of these gamers. By all means, it's not. I I remember I was the first person to say, this game is too hard to be fun. When I played Demon's Souls for the PlayStation 1, I got Dark Souls 2. I thought Dark Souls 2 was straight up dope. And it's the same type of level of difficulty, if not harder. I thought this joke was mad. It is harder, because I went back to go play Demon's Souls. I'm like, this game is easy. <laughs> but once I learned the battle mechanics, once I learned how to play the game, once I learned to take my time, once I learned that this isn't, uh, you know, a hack and slasher, I really thought it was a hack and slasher. And I was like, this is the most garbage hard hack and slasher in the world. But this is a really a role playing game. It's a beautiful game. You got to take your time. You, you got to be careful. It's just, it's old school. It's very old school. It's before my time. Even though I did play the old school games, but it's very old school. And it's not the hardest game of all time. Not at all. Once you learn the mechanics, once you learn to take your time, I'm not taking my time. No, take your time, relax. And I'm telling you, you will love this game, man. I love Dark Souls. I didn't pick up Dark Souls 2 because I bought, I bought Dark Souls 1 for 20 bucks. Something, I might as well just wait to get, I might as well play through Dark Souls 2 <laughs> and Dark Souls and Demon Souls. And I pick up Dark Souls 2 in my free time, even though the people were a little upset with the game. They're saying the graphics suck. I'm not really a graphic gamer, so I could really care less. But. With this game coming out for the PlayStation 3, you got the graphics, the cater to the graphic horse. You got the gameplay, the cater to the Zobi 70s. You got a sequel to cater to the Zobi 70s. I think it's dope, man. And I think it's a must have game. And, and, it's, a, and, it, and it's a reason. That guy, the guy said the, uh, just in the previous video that I watched, he said this is a reason to get a PlayStation 4. And I 100% agree. This is a reason to get the PlayStation 4. If it's a multi plat, it will be the reason to get the Xbox One. But if it's a PlayStation 4 exclusive, it is a must-have. We got this. Well, for me, for me, I get this and I get the Dragon Ball Z game. Yeah, I get the Dragon Ball Z game. Yeah. Even though I talking to the people and a lot of people don't have PlayStation 4s. So a lot of people that I game with, I said, you going to get a Nah, I ain't gonna, you know. It is what it is. I don't believe them. PlayStation 4 is a piece of shit anyway. Anywho, I'm going too long, man. Let's get this video over. <laughs>